my first 10 years in the supplement industry, we heard a lot about oxidation and how antioxidants were necessary because oxidation causes all kinds of diseases. And it seems like the last 10 years or so, we're hearing a lot about inflammation and how inflammation, which can be, you don't even know you have it oftentimes, it's called silent inflammation. This is systemic inflammation that's going on all the time in our bodies. Some people have a lot of it and it's very damaging. Some people have a little bit and it's not as bad. But it's really happening all the time. We've heard about how inflammation is the cause of all kinds of diseases. What's right? Is it oxidation or inflammation? It's really a combination of the two and they're both very, very serious things that we want to try to combat. Fortunately, astaxanthin has been shown to help with both of these things. Now, uh, we talked about as an antioxidant how it's so much more powerful than all other natural antioxidants. As an anti-inflammatory, uh, we tested our bioastin Hawaiian astaxanthin in a double-blind, placebo-controlled, state-of-the-art human clinical study for the key marker of silent inflammation in our bodies. It's a substance called C-reactive protein. And we found that in just eight weeks, people using bioastin astaxanthin had reduced their CRP or C-reactive protein levels by 20% on average. Now that's a very nice reaction in just, in just eight weeks. These were not people that had necessarily high levels of inflammation. These were just average citizens and a very, very positive result. It's unbelievable almost when you think about the number of different diseases that inflammation causes. We're talking heart disease. In fact, right now, uh, the American Heart Association believes that inflammation is a much uh, higher cause of heart disease than anything else. In fact, they say that measuring C-reactive protein is a much better indicator for heart disease than measuring cholesterol. Um, Alzheimer's, diabetes, both caused by inflammation, silent inflammation. Uh, cancers potentially also caused by silent inflammation. I mean, the list goes on and on. So if you want to really take as a preventative measure a combination of astaxanthin and spirulina, there's almost no better way to combat inflammation, oxidation, all the things that over time are ravaging our cells and killing us.